Okay, so you all know how I feel about writers on games. A good writer is hard to find, and a bad writer can bring down a game series that was once acclaimed for the storytelling. And before, I know I pissed all over the original Battlefront as a game that I wouldn't waste my time on because it was a game that lacked a lot of the core features that I personally am interested in, one of them being a decent story. However, this time EA hired writer Walt Williamson to do the story for Battlefront 2, the writer of Spec Off the Line, but was also involved in the writing of Mafia 2, which was another game that had a good story in my opinion. And granted, that's the only two games that he has under his belt at the moment, but that's still two games that I myself enjoyed. So forgive me as I have a bit of hope here that the story for Battlefront 2 will at the very least be interesting. And even though I know that it is a pain to admit, I know that a lot of people out there don't put a lot of time into knowing who's writing a game that they're going to be playing. And I don't blame them. Hell. It wasn't until I started playing Mass Effect that I particularly started to take an interest in the writers of games. Until then, I just I never gave two fucks and would just buy what looked good. But nowadays, things have changed for me. I look up such silly things as what the original writer of Uncharted is doing. And also, as a bit of a fun fact here, it seems she's also working on a Star Wars project to be released in 2018. So that's interesting, a little bit of Star Wars information for those of you who might care. But yeah, back to Battlefront 2. The game looks, from the trailer, to have space combat, which a lot of the fans have been asking for. But whether or not it will be just in the single player, or in the multiplayer, which everyone wants it to be, I don't know yet. What I myself am interested in is whether this game will sell well or not. And I know a lot of you might be saying that it's a Star Wars game. Of course it's going to sell. Well, you see, typically that would be the case. But EA is the type of company to fuck up something that you think is unfuck upable. They will rush out games before they are ready to reach some type of arbitrary release date, force one of their first person shooters to directly compete against one of their other first person shooters turn a horror game that sold at least a million plus into an action shooter and then complain that no one is buying horror games anymore and not to mention transforming a functional city building game into a buggy needlessly always online piece of shite and then shut down the studio that made it because of the decisions that they themselves made. That is EA Games, and I've known them to be this way ever since I can remember. So please, understand my point of view when I say that EA is very capable of fucking up a good franchise or shooting down a new franchise before it even got some legs up under it. It's something that they do every now and again, and since I don't know how many people out there felt burned by the previous Star World Battlefront's uh, lack of content, especially considering how fast the player base dropped after the first month, I'm going to feel a little bit wary about the future of the Battlefront games at this moment. I want good games to do well. And finally, it seems like EA is taking this a bit more serious. But that doesn't mean that EA won't dip their meddling fingers into it and set it up for failure. They've done it before, and I very much assure you that they will do it again. Anyway, I thank you all for listening to me talk, and my time is up now. <sighs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm tired. I'm always tired. I don't know why at this point. I, just, uh, I thank you all for listening to me. And hopefully I can make another video soon and not just do one video a week with my sparse fair time, uh, spare time that I get. Uh, I can't even speak anymore. I'll talk to you all next time and you have a blessed day.